So now it's time to kind of train our chatbot to respond with a specific response according to the data that we are going to give that chatbot and train that chatbot with. So first we need to import here, we need to import from, from chatterbot, chatterbot, dot trainers, import, import, and then I'm going to import what's called the list trainer, list trainer. And this list trainer is going to take a list and it's going to pick out the best possible response according to what the user is going to type. So let's create an object. Let's create here an object, list trainer, and then I'm going to pass this list trainer takes the chatbot, this chatbot. So I'm going to pass here the bot, and then I'm going to store it in a variable called list trainer, and then it's going to be equal to this object, and then we need to train our uh, our chatbot. So I'm going to say here list list trainer list list trainer, and then I'm going to call the train method train. And then we need to pass here a list. So we need to create a list of uh, questions and answers and then pass it to this train uh, method. So we need to create this, this, um, this array or this list here. So I'm going to say here list, list of, list of, or list to train, list to train or chatbot or just list to train and then it's going to be equal to a list obviously but this is very important you need to pay attention to what's going to what I'm going to type here so this list is going to take obviously just a list of a list of uh, strings but it's not it's not just a simple list it's a list where the first the first the first uh, element is a question and the, the element that just succeeds it is the answer. So each element in this array is going to be either a question or an answer. So if the, if the element is the first element, then it's going to be the question. And then the element that succeeds it is the answer. And then the element that uh, succeeds, uh, succeeds it is just a question. And each element in this array is just an answer to the element that precedes it. So this is going to be the answer to the one that precedes it. But of course, we need to have a an um, even uh, even list because each because we don't want just to pass a question without an answer or pass an answer without a question. So this is very important. You can here say hi. And then the answer, hi there. And then maybe, what's your name? What's your name? I'm a chat bot. And then you can also say, how old are you? I... Um, ageless, and of course you can uh, pass uh, many many elements. It doesn't matter. And then once we have this uh, uh, list or array ready, we can pass it to the train. So you can here pass it list list to train. Of course, this is a very very simple example, but I'm gonna show you how you can um, fill this with a many many responses and answers and questions of course and now uh, that we have this very simple uh, this very very simple uh, uh, script we need to run or execute this script here we have the typo it should be from from and then save let's now execute our script and see what's going to happen so if you if you run your script of course nothing is going to happen it's just going to train our uh, our chatbot but we did not create yet a, a prompt where we will let the user type something in order for the chatbot to respond. So I'm going to just execute this and, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So if you execute this file, guess what? 
So as you can see, what happened is that the chatbot has been trained. And of course, it has been trained very, very quickly because we just have a very simple array. It's extremely simple, extremely small. It just contains a um, few elements, six elements probably. So it's very simple. And now our chatbot is trained.